world's largest sperm. Despite the fact that it is not required for any degree at IU South Bend, the marital relations and sexuality class consistently has a wait list. Some say it's because the class is only offered two times every spring semester, but never in the fall. Others say it's because Betty Mooney, who teaches the class, is honest, informative, and interesting. It does not kill the sperm. It immobilizes it. But if you ask Mooney herself, it's because college students are yearning for sex education. I suspect it's a, one of the more popular classes simply because students talk about what they're learning. They're happy to be learning what they're learning. And, and they're wanting to share it with their boyfriends and their girlfriends and their cousins and their mother. They're getting the straight goods. There's no way that they, they've been getting any decent kind of sexuality education elsewhere. Her class is basic. It gives an overview of human sexuality in general and includes how law and religion come into play. At 86 years old, Mooney makes a point to keep current on all things sexuality and tailors her class to reflect new research and information. Topics covered in the class include anatomy and physiology, conception and pregnancy, sexual development, sexual orientation, and more. One of the topics that students seem most interested about and often surprised about is contraception. I have incredible response from students who say, I never ever realized there were so many different kinds of contraception and I didn't have a clue what it did and I have been taught the totally wrong things. They're amazed at the, uh, at the information that they get in a chapter on contraception. These are female condoms. Really? Yes. Sometimes her class is shocking to students, but Mooney expects it. She knows that she's teaching to students who may have uninformed ideas or opinions about the various topics in class, but for her it's never a problem. I don't make fun of it. I don't tell jokes. I don't think people are silly. I think they need to know more about themselves and, and the world in which they live, and that's why I teach the way I do. Most of her lectures include information out of a textbook that she has chosen carefully because it is the most accurate and timely according to her standards. But she also talks a lot about personal experiences and often gives demonstrations in class. Her favorite part of teaching is teaching itself. She loves interacting with students and delights in knowing that students are gaining something from her class. Seeing people grow, seeing the lights go on. You know, I, I watch the students in my class, I see faces. And I, I can see the light go on in somebody who's been sitting there kind of, and then all of a sudden they go, oh yeah. And the light is going on. And, and isn't that why you do anything in your life, to, to have a success? And that is a success. The light went on. Mooney hopes that there is one lesson in class that every student comes away with at the end of every April. That they own themselves. Self-ownership. That they are responsible for themselves. And, you know, the ownership is the first piece. The corollary is that you are responsible for yourself and you need to know as much about yourself as possible. Here's a pink one. <laughs> Her class is Sociology S-164, and it is offered every spring, once in the morning and once in the afternoon. Make sure you sign up for it as soon as you can in order to avoid being waitlisted. I know you are. <laughs>